Today's Valentine's Captain's Blog is made possible by a loving grant from Billy Dorfner. Thank you, sir. Hi there, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, February 14th, 2017. Happy Valentine's Day. And we got a present. From Steepletown Preschool. Aw, all the kids at the preschool love us. Thank you. Aw. They stopped in last week and we helped fix their laminator. Yeah, these are the two nice women. I, I fixed their big machine. It was all gummed up. So they are very appreciative of it. And they brought us a Valentine's Day Yay! Present. That is so cool. Thank you, girls. And all the cool kids at Steepletown. And the mail's here. I'm going to go get the mail. I'll be back. It's not legit viewer mail. We just got the mail. You should read the label on the box first. It's from NASA. There's yeah. no viewer mail today. Oh, that's funny. We got junk mail from ZipRecruiter. Yeah. Okay. ZipRecruiter's is fine. <laughs> Yeah. You bought computer tapes from NASA. Yeah, new old stock. Okay. And what are you gonna do with that? Build a reader. Okay. Because yeah. we have some old tapes in archives. Yeah. And I want to build a reader writer. Because I want to boot my computer off of this. <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Okay. And it was cheap, so I found it. Such a nerd. Anybody out there who had let me see that. Anybody out there who has a dinosaur den or old big iron who has a reader and writer for these, please contact me. He wants to boot his computer off one and I would like to help and I think this would make an awesome video. So if you have old mainframe, this is what we got. I'm gonna reach out to some people and I'm gonna do something So anybody out there who could help VJ in this project, please contact me and let me know because this is just cool as hell. That is, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, so I got mail too. I want to see what I got. So here, you got to hold the camera for me. Or red's got it. Here, got some dust. Here, light. I don't think I need any, any dust. Hey! Hey, Ed! Oh, look at that. That's the first half of it. It's all Well, they came set one style of plug. Yeah. But it's a start. See if we can make it work. What is it? It's the it's the tail lights, the impossible tail lights. Ed found them and uh, sent me a link, so I ordered them, and we'll see if they work. Cool. And if they, they work, then Ed gets ice cream, and if they fail, then we have to staple his testicles to a two by four. <laughs> now I'm kind of hoping they fail. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we've got. What are you two working on this morning? Well, we made an attempt at running cable to those two cameras out in the. Uh, uh, on the outside of MDH, and but the hole is ridiculously cattywampus and almost impossible to get coax. Drill a new hole. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We may have to. Yeah, do. it's nothing to it. Yeah. We got tools for that. We got this. That's trash. Yeah, remember cattywampus? It's up there with kitty wampus. I dated her in high school. Kitty wampus, my old high school girlfriend. God, I love that car. Just damn cool. So we got dudes on hoist. Side to net. Chill out here. Nothing major. It's still early in the day. It's only 1022. All right. I'm going to get things in motion. I'll be back with you dudes in a bit. Is that here? Is the bulb type. And so there's dozens that. of that bulb type. Yeah, and these sockets are for that bulb type. Right. But that doesn't mean it fits the pattern. Because the bulb type is like the same bulb type for every car. So there's dozens of different sockets for a 2057. Where's the freaking slate me off? These were like the exact same ones that had an auto zone and dude tried to get in and we're close and they won't twist. 
Will they go in and sit up flush, they just won't twist? Yeah. You can it's put LED right bulbs in it, cock it in place. Hot's not. Because, <laughs> I mean, it, it, yeah, hot's not to be fine, because as long as it seals. Put LED bulbs in there, they're going to last longer than the car. Yeah, it should be in the drawer like the drop but they, they do not indeed properly fit? They do not indeed properly fit. Hey, Ed. I tried. Get the stapler. I'll go get the stapler. You don't want to watch this part. <laughs> we'll be back. 1221. We got blinking lights in the front and in the back. So here, we'll get a side shot. Yeah, it came out good. Yeah, I like it. Cool! Oh, and I bought some stock for general lab use. These, we use these a lot in the VSL. Everybody uses them, so when I get stuff that we run out of, I just get a kit. Because they're cheap. This is one of those things that I wish people would do, like, the zip tie level of annoying overstock with. Because, holy shit, do we use a lot of this stuff. Everybody who comes here and works on their car wants them. Well, I have lots of the non-heat shrink stuff. The yeah, these, shrink are, stuff these are the is, good heat shrink ones. Boating mojo more. But people use them on their cars a lot, and they work way better. Because they don't corrode as bad. Oh god. That's so cool. What? I can't hear you over the lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's neat. So, we're hanging out under the car, having fun, experiencing love and joy. I got a question I want to run by you guys. For widgety bits, simple things like this, this is a backup camera. I bought this for like $14. Is it worth it in today's world to bother getting a patent? Like, is it even worth it? Because I got a patent. I, I went through the process, and it sucked, and it cost a ton of money. And it was a pain in the ass. And it delayed the project so much that it almost killed it. And I just got to think about stuff like this, because there's 10 million ones to choose from, and they all cost like $14. Is it even worth it? I want to know your thoughts. I'm going to get back to under a car. I'll be back. Today's Valentine's Captain's Blog is made possible by a loving grant from Billy Dorfner. Thank you, sir.